Still available in my Etsy store, paintwithjosh.etsy.com. All sorts of shirts and prints and different things. And oh my, look at this guy back here. Let's see what the cameras look like, just real fast. Oh, look at that pride flag, you guys. My goodness, this one's coming out on uh, Wednesday. You'll be able to watch that full-length tutorial on Wednesday. So make sure you're hitting the, the likes and the shares. And if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you like. You can share, copy the link, send it to your grandma, send it to everybody else. So, we do have Bailey here with us this morning, and we're going to talk about why Bailey is here with us this morning. Hello. Hello, Bailey's going to read your comments out aloud so we can listen and, and reply back in real time, right? And that way we won't have to go back and try to respond hours later after you've already forgotten your question and I've forgotten the answer. <clears throat> so, the reason London isn't here with us today... She is in the hospital, and why are we here if she's in the hospital? Well, they won't let us see her. <laughs> like they, we went to, we went down to go see her, and uh, you know, I, I take Bailey down there with me. Of course, we don't have anyone else. We're a single family, so nobody else in town to watch the, uh, our daughter, right? And uh, we get down there, and they go, uh, she can't come in. I go, what am I supposed to do? Just leave her in the lobby? Like, oh, uh, 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 that doesn't make any sense. So, I'm going to go through the colors here real quick. Uh, titanium white, and it's like totally different than how we normally have our colors listed because we did that rainbow pride flag painting and I had to have them in a way that my brain could figure it out, right? So, let's go through. Titanium white, bright red, uh, cadmium yellow, sap green, phthalo blue, Prussian blue, alizarin crimson, and midnight black. So, we need to put some base color on our canvas and we have to decide what we want it to look like, right? So, we actually may need to get more crimson out. And a little bit of green. All right, let's do this. We'll get our crimson on our brush, just pull it straight down. Just straight down like that, load it up, right? Get it all thick and nasty, all on each side. And once we've done this, we're gonna zoom in. So don't leave us yet, right, Bailey? Bailey always says, don't leave. Don't leave us, right? Put all that red just right up in here, wherever you think it needs to go. All right, stretch it all the way to the edge if you want. We're gonna put a little layer of kind of blue around that. Now let's reflect that red back into our our wave or our sandy beach, whatever is going to happen kind of right out here where we're going to put all that red, right? We've got a, a little section of dark in between these two areas. Yes. What'd you say, Bailey? It kept saying, um, it kept saying I couldn't get it to work. Oh, really? So then I had to hit, a, I had to hit the, I had to hit it Let's twice see. really fast. Oh, I got it. To get me to the there we go. So she was so stressed. All right, we're here with our phthalo blue now. We're gonna come up and around, maybe put it around our crimson, go through our little area right there, and then we're gonna wrap it around here like a big old S shape, right? Put it down here in the bottom of our beachy area. We'll have this nice purpley blue reddish, depends on what, what happens when we use our white paint, right? Throw a little bit in there. And let's see, a little bit more of that phthalo blue just up in here. And then we're gonna zoom in, so don't leave. Don't leave us, Bailey. All right, let's throw a little bit of the sap green in, too. It always makes for a beautiful color. The sap green, we can put it over here. Maybe there's like another bit of a galaxy off to the side of our painting. And we're going to reflect some of that sap green back into our water back here. Let it mix in with that phthalo blue. And we'll get some beautiful color out of it, right? Whatever it is, it's going to look fantastic. Put a little bit of that green over here just to reflect. Everything reflects itself in a crisscross when we paint with Josh, right? Paint with Josh! Where's everybody watching from? Is this your first Paint with Josh video that you've ever watched? Is it your 100th? Is it your millionth Paint with Josh video? Carla says, uh, happy Father's Day, Josh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, so everybody, London's in the hospital. She's doing okay. They just won't let her leave, and they won't let us see her. So, it's, very, it's a very strange thing. So, she kind of feels trapped there, and I totally get it. They won't even let her go outside for a cigarette. And anybody who's a smoker knows it can get very dangerous around a person who needs a cigarette and is not allowed to have one. So, London, we love you. We wish we were there, honey. I love you if you're watching. Um, it's going to be hard to kind of focus and, and paint today. So, whew. All right, let's, uh, let's figure it out. We got our crimson, we got our blue, we got our green. Let's try to, let's try to do something. 
What's everyone saying? Mainly, where are they watching from? What time is it where you are? What's your favorite sandwich? London always likes when I ask, what's your favorite sandwich? Because all these sandwiches start popping up in the comments. All right, we could do a big moon, but I, I don't really want to. I kind of want to do like a, a little bit of a galaxy over here, maybe a farther away galaxy over there, maybe. Kind of twist up our sky a little. Or do a little, we'll mix them into both. We could do giant clouds. We could do anything, right? Because we literally make it up. I don't want it to look like any other painting we've done. That's why we've added sap green today. So I do know I want my crashing wave to be right here, right in the center of all that red. All right, what's the cameras look like that we got? Uh, um, we got a lot of glare. No, it's looking good, looking Samantha good. Samantha said love this shirt. Thank you, thank you. The shirt's available in my Etsy store. It's the one that I wear on camera. It is the most expensive shirt in my store because it's an all over print and it costs me a lot to have it made. So I have to have some room of for profit there. Otherwise it's just a waste, right? But yeah, it's one of my favorite shirts that I offer in the store. All right, let's take a little bit. We're gonna mix up a little bit of a color over here. Let's take our, our cad yellow and our titanium white, and we're gonna mix it into this super bright yellow over here. And we're gonna grab that up onto our brush. As much as we can get. We didn't make a whole big giant amount of it. So, gonna grab that up on the brush. It's gonna be very, very bright when we put it up against this dark background. It's gonna be rotating the brush over and over and over again. Now we're gonna to start to, you could literally do whatever you wanted and we can use the yellow in both sections. So we got to decide what we want it to look like. And let's say we just start from the bottom and we'll go up. Just, I love this color, my heck. Look at that, look at that color. It is fantastic. It turned from yellow to like pinkish. Yeah, to like pinkish crazy. Depends on where you have your brightness of yellow and your bit of crimson that's mixing in below. <clears throat> it reminds me of a sign, like it reminds me of like a sign of like, um, so we're just taking it and just twisting it, just making it softer. That's all you have to do. Just a little bit of color up in the sky is all you really got to do. And then you can pick a spot and go, wow, it would look really cool if the moon was right there or if there was a bit of a, a, a gamma ray burst or some sort of something. Again, you just mix it until very soft, let it blend in. All right now we're going to wipe all that crimson off of this brush, wash it off into the bucket. Got our little beater bucket nice and clean again, right? Okay, now let's take a bit of that yellow again. A little bit more of that white. We're gonna come down here, get it back on the brush again, just like this. Now we're gonna go over, and this side will be some crazy, I don't know, some little bit of thing that looks like this. You throw your yellow in on top of that green, and boy, oh boy, do you get a beautiful color, let me tell you. Now we're gonna mix that up very softly, very lightly. Just kind of following whatever those patterns were. We don't want it to grow too much. We don't want it to go too much into different colors. We have this beautiful little thing. You can even let it stretch a little bit. Try it like it's gonna connect, like those two pieces are reaching out, like that painting. They're like, oh, little touch of the finger. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, now our painting is, the paint is so light that you can literally go back and forth across the whole bit. Because we didn't use a whole lot, right? We haven't used a lot of color. There's nothing really up there. Just a little bit of white paint and our base colors and a little bit of yellow. That's all we've done. And you like make these gorgeous little colors all differently like that. It's fantastic. What did you say, B? They look like kind of like pink and um, green flowers. True. That's very cool. Maybe. Let's take our, uh, our, cad or our, our liquid white, drop it into that yellow bit. Just mix it up just the littlest bit to get the smallest amount of yellow color on there. And then we'll go back and we'll just pop in just a few little stars across our whole galaxy. All right, pop them in. Be very gentle, though. If you push too hard, it becomes crazy. Watch, I'll show you. Push too hard in there, you're like, oh, that thing's so big. What are we going to do, right? Well, we're going to pull it out to the side. You can use our fan brush if we wanted to. Now you got a shooting star off in the distance. Very simply, very easily done, just like that. And it's all because we made a mistake, right? Okay, can I paint with you? you no. Well, I mean, not right now. I want to paint on one of your little rocks. On my what? On your, one of your little rocks. Yeah, one of those rocks. We got to start. We have to do another video like that. Do you where, want to uh, do one after this live? That'd be cool. That would be cool. I'll show you how to prime on these rocks. Yeah, right. I'd like, show you how Bailey paints rocks. The Santorini stones. There we go. Bing, bang, bung, 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 bung. Some of the times I don't even hit the canvas, but I just keep moving because you don't want to be too much in, in an area or too much in one spot. 
And just very quickly and very easily like that, you knock out a whole little galaxy sky. Just simply and easily done. Take our bit of uh, filbert brush, shape this guy a little. There we go. Little shooting star. Almost looks like a, a UFO up there. That's kind of neat. We could change it and make it a UFO really quickly. Would not be very hard to do. Let's put our little galaxy, just a little straight line, just like that. Right far off in the distance. And then we're going to take a clean brush. Kind of swipe over that guy. Just stretch him out a little bit. A little bit of a stretch. And let's take the small edge of the knife this time. Because this one's real far away. Kind of get it dead in the center. And just kind of rotate up. Get this far off little bit of... Uh, I'm a gamma ray burst shooting out. Take your brush, pull it up straight as you can get it. And all of a sudden, it starts to look very cool. Sometimes pulling it down works as well. And then just straight over where your, where your galaxy was again. You can even add to that. We could, if we wanted to, Bailey, we could even add to that. A little touch of red. Just change up the whole look of it. And then we can go back and brighten it up again. As long as we have these differences, right? As long as we stretch it the same on equal sides as well. You don't want to go too crazy. Get a little bit more of the yellow. Just to brighten it up the smallest bit. Looks very cool. Very, very cool. Okay, I have my idea on what I want to paint. Oh, yeah? I drew up my painting first. And now Just like that. You did what now, B? I drew out my painting first. Oh, you sketched it out. Uh, she's a sketcher. There we go. I'm do this, make it circular. There we go. Now it looks more like a like a uh, like a, a galaxy off in the distance out there. And now that line where the gamma ray burst is no longer the center line. So we're just gonna swipe that away. And we'll make a new center line. Right there. Got to get some paint on our brush, though, or our knife. There we go. I'm not even going to stretch that one out. That looks really cool. Just like that. Just cover the bottom. Okay, let's zoom these cameras in so we can actually see what we're doing, right? I'm so caught up. Is anybody talking, B? No, as she leaves, she goes and leaves me. That's funny. Let's see. We're going to come over here. We're going to zoom in. Bingo, bango, look at that. On YouTube, YouTube zooms in so dang fast. There we go. Now you guys got a much better view. Everybody's got a much better view. Perfection, there we go, perfect. All right. <clears throat> Love this right here. It needs to be a little bit brighter though. So let's take a little bit, maybe that same yellow color, and if we can get it just kind of right in the center of that. Man, we just had this little bit of highlight right over the top. Looks really neat. I like that. I like that, Bailey. Don't want to touch any of our other stars, though, that's for sure. It does need to be a little bit brighter, though, and a little bit thicker at the front. Just the littlest bit. I'm always tweaking it until it looks perfect, because I, I do these in one shot, guys. And if it doesn't look good on the first go, then it just doesn't look good. It just stays like that. So, let's see. Again, we are missing London. We love you, honey. I can't barely think of anything else but London right now. Wishing she was here with us. There we go. All we're doing is kind of making these just a little soft. Just by kind of mushing them, twisting them up a little bit. Makes them different, right? Maybe some of them are very bright. Some of them are very far away and very soft. Let them mix in with whatever colors we have back there. Very cool. Get these far off little soft little galaxies way off in the distance, right? Way out there. And then if you don't like them, you can always change them or do whatever. All right, let's do one gorgeous moon just right dead in the center of all of this brightness right here. We're going to take our white, let it mix with whatever yellow is in here. I'm not trying to get yellow on it, but there is yellow from the, the patch of where we're sitting. So. We're going to take our brush, going to try to stay out of your guys' way, right? Going to pick our spot dead center, push the brush flat, 
and then rotate it all the way around and you can make this gorgeous whoop, make this gorgeous little circular moon out there and you try not to let your brush move because that would be catastrophic if the brush was to move there we go just like that and there's always some little bit some little piece that just irritates me and tries to stand out it's like, hey, Josh can't paint a circle. And I go, oh, come on, don't tell everybody that. Don't say that. There we go. Softly, softly, softly back and forth. Very soft. Very, very soft. Just to get the shape around there. All right, we're going to come back in. I may have to cut you guys off and actually try to focus on what I'm doing and paint a circle <gasps> or we're going to paint a square planet. Ooh. What's up B? Painting a square planet? Yeah. This is a funny thing from one of the lives. There we go. There's my circle. There's my circular planet. Okay. You take this guy, sort of blend him in from the sides. If there's any lines that you don't like, you get this nice bright moon dead in the center. Beautiful. Beautiful. What's everyone saying, B? You're not reading many comments. Um, or just no one's talking to us, huh? Uh, I think it's Louisa said, um, hi London, hope you, f hope you feel well. We hope London feels better too. Uh, Jimmy said, wow, amazing job. Thank you, thank you. Um, Alright, let's get a little bit. What are we going to make our, well we're going to use white anyway, so. Keep going, B. Jonathan said, Leslie says, hi, Josh and Bailey. Hello, hello. Uh, Mikey says, hi, Josh. Hi. Hi, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for sharing and tapping all the little likes and emojis. Mom said, hi, baby. Hi, guys. Hi, Mommy. Mommy is here. Mommy, we've been thinking about you. We cannot stop thinking about you, Mommy. How was the, you know, how is everything? Are you okay? Let's see. Let's see. We gotta wash this brush off. Patricia said happy Father's Day. Who did? Patricia. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Alright, we're washing off the brushes so we can have some clean utensils here. Gotta have clean utensils. Let's see. Okay. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Oh my goodness, man. We've only been going for 20 minutes. We already got this whole thing. We can knock this whole thing out and uh in 45, I guarantee. All right, so now we're gonna grab up a little bit of our white paint again, right? It doesn't matter that there's a little bit of yellow in it. It's really not a big deal. We don't need a whole lot though. So as we pull it down, let the majority of it come back off of the brush and, and create you know this little pile over here because we don't need a whole lot. It doesn't have to be really goopy. If you have too much, it's gonna spread and everything's gonna be too white. And that's not what we want to do. We're trying not to paint today. We don't want to cover over this beautiful uh, black canvas. That's why we're on black canvas. That's why we're trying to cover it for. I try to make sure our stick is straight before we uh, before we put it up there, right? Oh my goodness, I can't even... All right, let's do it like that. That looks good right there. Okay. My heck, here we go. All right, right across the bottom. Nice and straight. Try not to let our stick move and all of a sudden we have this very straight horizon line back here. Simply and easily done, right? Look at this. It's going to blend in with that green and then all of a sudden it's going to change into this blue. Woo! Look at that blue. Fantastic. We don't need a whole lot though. And leave some of those dark areas. It doesn't have to be bright everywhere, right? It really doesn't. It doesn't have to be the brightest bit of ocean. You don't even have to see the whole thing. You really don't. And just like that, we're going to stretch this and soften it. Right? And we're going to leave those dark areas. We're not going to go over it so many times that we are going to, you know, brush everything together. Look at that. Look at these darknesses back there. The light. There's a bit of light over here. You can make it even brighter over here. Take that little bit more white and underneath our moon, Maybe we have this really bright section of wave under there. All right, back there, and then maybe it, 
lights up another area right here. Because why not? Why not? Why not, you say, Bailey? Why not? Why not? See, a little bit brighter back there. And then maybe a little bit of section of wave right here that got lit up. Or we can pull this back or stretch it and let it become more of whatever color is underneath. You see that? Everything starts to change the more and more we touch, right? So you go slow and you figure out what's going to look best if I do this or if I do that or if this happens or where is my crashing wave going to be? We have this whole red section right here, right? That's why we're not really worrying about what's going to happen. I want the, the wave to come up and kind of peak, well, maybe peak right here. So if we're going to peak in the center right here, I'm going to let it grow down to the side. And this whole front's going to be the wave. So we have to kind of blend. We have to save this dark area and blend it back to that lighter area right here. Okay, I'm going to show you what we're talking about. A very easy little seascape today. Right, maybe there's a few little light areas back here. Just very, very light little areas. Way off there. But you have to make them soft. You can't just leave them out there with your fan brush marks. Got to make them soft. Got to make them far away. And all of a sudden, you got these little twinklings. Little things, little lines, little things, little waves will start, you know, peeking up everywhere. It's all you really need. And again, what do we do? We stretch it. Stretch it, soften it. Let it become its own little part of the ocean back there. Blend it until we like the way that it looks, right? It's the, the ocean is never all just one solid color. It's mostly black most of the time. All right, now if our wave is going to come up, we're going to get right up to there. Right, so our crash is gonna start to happen over this way. Look at how it instantly turned pink. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous, right? So our thing is gonna come down here, slide back, and sort of off to the edge, right? That's the edge of our wave. Now we have to take some of this color and work itself back to that dark line back here, right below that brightness. Right, and it's gonna change, it's gonna become whatever color you put underneath, All right? So over here, we're starting to get flatter and flatter and flatter as we go, as the water's starting to come in, All right? We're not trying to angle it up, so our flatness needs to grow. There we go. All right? if you don't wanna have these crazy upward facing lines, it's gonna look like the wave is, <laughs> is doing this, you know, catastrophic tidal wave tsunami. All right, come back in. Just sort of brighten up our line right there. And we got our wave coming in. Now we can highlight that next section back here with a little bit of uh, liquid white and a little bit of our color in here, right? Just get it up in there, get it onto our brush. And with a very steady hand, we can come back and let's say there's a bit of that brighter color just in there. Where did it go? There we go. Right. They don't have to be straight, it doesn't have to look perfect, right? Because again, we're going to take it and stretch it. And so we want it to be imperfect. And that way you have these imperfect lines out there. You don't want to have this crazy perfect thing. All right, we're going to take this guy, soften it, blend it back. Look at this. Same angles that we were using. And now we get this soft little bit of water. Ooh, it's fantastic. We can even stretch it a bit further towards that black line. The black line doesn't have to be huge, right? Just a little lip of water that's gonna come over the edge. What are they saying, Bailey? What are they saying? Do they like my colors? Um, <laughs> Jonathan said I started using a level to do my horizontal line. Um, Let's go up a little bit higher. We need some more depth. Dave said, um, hey Josh, happy Father's Day, my friend. Happy Father's Day. Just like that. All we really need in our lives right there. Then we can, we can come back and we can shape and fix. We're going to throw the eye of our wave in. All right? Don't want it to get too bright, so we just need a little bit of paint. And then what are we going to do with it? We're going to soften it. Soften. Soft, 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 soft. Little circles. Kind of stretching it out. Letting it stay up here by this dark line, but not overdoing it, right? Don't want it to grow too big. And all of a sudden, all the light of that moon is just shining through. It's fantastic. Oh, it's fantastic, baby. Fantastic. Fantastic. I can't do that, but I can't do that. 
All about what the the water looks like, right? It's got to be kind of roundish, and we have to have it up high enough where it's going to push everything else back. And then we can decide how far we get it to crash. All right? It's going to have to come down even further, actually, but be very light down here because we need it to stay dark, right? It's got to stay dark down here. Don't need it to be as bright as it does up there. That is a giant crasher. Man, it's going to be cool. Because again, the wave's got to come from down here, like you were to drop a ball and it's going to roll up, right? Let's get our, our little section of beach down in here first, like that. It's going to be a giant wave. We're going to hit the water, we're going to roll up into our wave, right? It's going to roll and crash. So we're going to come in, we're going to slide up, and the more and more that we roll up, the more rounded it looks, the more and more we come to the side, the more flat we're going to become. And that way the water doesn't look like it's going to crash over so hard right there, right? And I do love taking this guy and just pulling him down, kind of meeting up with those angles just so we get a little bit of color back in there, right? You can always soften it, keep our dark area nice and dark down here. But the water isn't ready to, to roll and crash over here yet, right? Come down here. Just a little bit of color, and as we go further and further and further and further, we start to rotate around, and we start to come in and then connect down with our lines again. Very lightly, though. It doesn't need to be a whole crazy thing. We start to line up all these little bits where now we can, we can start to see our wave. We'll push a little bit harder with our brush, leave a little bit more detail. Differences. Woo! This thing is like a, just the mouth of a beast. About to come and attack. It's very cool, Bailey. All right, gonna take these guys, gonna pull them down, make them soft. Down from the top, same angles of our brush though. Pull that out down here. Bam, you get this gorgeous bit of water. Look at this. Look at Vaunt, Bailey. That is pretty. That is pretty, my goodness. Okay, now we got to decide what we're going to cut off because we can't have it all be, uh, you know, too rounded. I mean, it does look cool like that. All depends on how we can get it to look, right? Get a little bit of liquid white. We might as well do this section in here. I like to kind of jiggle it around and then we'll start to go out. And that kind of ties it into itself right here. Jiggle it around. Pull it out. It doesn't have to be the same amount of brightness. It doesn't have to be, you know, perfectly... Uh, straight or anything it's a bit of water it's going to come in whenever it wants to come in now we got to decide off of these little dips where our little stringy line is going to start right maybe off of this guy he comes down like that remember we're sitting on top of the water right now the deep darkness and the color that's underneath we got to create the distance the depth of what's sitting on top so why don't we come down in just like that just be very straight Right? They're not a vertical thing. They're very much a straight thing. And I have to tell myself all the time that they're a straight thing and not to overdo it and not to get too crazy. So I'm telling you guys again. Right? Just let it get darker as it goes out to the side. We don't have to see every single detail over here. Really don't. Now look at this guy. This little drip, like he's just wanting to come down and become part of our wave, right? But we don't want him to be stuck to the back of the wave where all that color is. We want him to be at a slightly different angle. So we're gonna grab him with no color on the brush, just whatever's right here. Gonna grab him, gonna start to pull down. And our angle has to be right. Otherwise it's gonna make the water look more vertical. All right, so we can even take him, start to pull him to the side. And if we don't like a certain bit, we can have that become part of the background color, right? You never have to just deal with it. That's the kind of angle we want right there. All right, then we can bounce off of him in different ways and come back and connect, or go down, hop off in this way. All these little lightning bolts that are happening. All this detail and this fine lineage, right, but they gotta be straight. It's like we dropped the ball and he's gonna get sucked up in there. You don't wanna go too vertical, Josh. Don't go too vertical. We go too vertical, it's not gonna look right. So don't do it, Joshy. 
Don't you dare do it, Jashy. Take all these little things, little bits, little differences, little thingies. Oh my goodness. There we go. Looking fantastic. All right, again, don't want to use too much of the paint from here. So let's take a little bit of this. We're going to go back and then around. That's going to show the curvature back and around as it starts to really curve in over there, right? Again, just like dropping a ball, how would the ball react? If you drop the ball in here, it would start to climb up through and then rotate back on itself over, right? And look at just from grabbing some of that dark color with no color on the brush, a little bit of that darkness and dragging some of those little, some of those little things up in there or dragging from down here. Just again, with no color on the brush, just picking up whatever base color we can and creating little veins and little differences like that. Very cool. You don't have them have to all be white, right? You do not all have to be white, that's for sure. Crazy rounded bit right here. Right, because all it is is getting twisted up and rolled over. That's literally it. What's going on over there, B? Picture. You want to see it? Yeah, of course I want to see it. Okay. Of course we want to see it. Look at. Oh, that's cool. It says, um, I'm, I'm my own best friend. friend. That's super cute. Where it's got a little heart. Aww. And oh, they're fingerprints. Yeah. That's I cool. My I can't, my <laughs> now stain now. It's okay. not stained. Well, You'll be alright. It's kind of cool because, like, their hands are, like, doing a heart. Right. So they are their own bag. There we go. All right, we're going to take them and soften them again, right? We don't have to have it be all the same texture. Maybe this guy we used a little bit too much, so we'll just kind of shake him out and pull him down and just blend him. Right? They don't all have to be the same. They don't, but with these, we have to follow those crazy angles. Otherwise, it's not going to look right. Just like that. Bam, 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 bam. And now we have our base kind of color for our wave. It's fantastic, Bailey. Fantastic. It's fantastic. Okay. Now let's get up a little bit of our black and, uh, and phthalo blue and crimson. We don't have to use the Prussian blue. We don't have to. All right, we're going to mix up our kind of dark shadowy color in here. I'm, Just all nasty. I am using Prussian blue right now. Prussian blue for I, Bailey. I was using it for the picture. There we go. Scrape up all that extra. All we need is a bit for our shadow, right? So we're going to take a different brush so we don't get our white, or the brush we're using for our highlights. And see how we're going to just try to get it on this one corner. So just kind of over and top, and that way just one corner, one side of the brush is dirty, right? We're going to come in and then we have to decide the angle. We don't want to follow the angle of this. This is too sharp, right? It's too much roll. So we have to cut it off sort of at like a lazy 45 degree angle, I think. So we're going to come in. We're going to start the tap as our foam comes in. Right? We're going to cut off any bit of color underneath because we can just blend that out and come down. We're going to touch our, our ground down here. This kind of lazy 45. It's kind of lazy Susan 45 is what we're going to call it. Okay, now we're going to come over here. We're going to start to cover some of our wave. You can go as high up as you want. I'm going to go up more higher than my, my horizon line, right? Because now we're going to get the whole brush dirty, by the way. Because to me, higher than my horizon means the wave is really close and that stuff back there is really far away. Love these little details, how it goes down into the dark. Don't get rid of all that. It's fantastic. Don't cover all that up. It's fantastic, Bailey says. She's making fun of my accent. Roberta said hello, everyone. Hello, hello, welcome. What are we going to call this one? Um, I don't even know. I've already used Galactic Sky. I've already used Sandy Shores 1 and 2. What, uh, what are we going to call this one, Bailey? All right, we're going to switch back to our, our light-colored brush, get that liquid white on it, come back in here with our white paint. Again, just on the same one corner. 
right? Kind of dab it into that one side. So just one side of the brush is, is white. We're gonna come up here and kind of tap above where our shadows are, about halfway up the shadow, some into the wave, right? Rotate over and then start dropping in all of our spray, leaving some shadows, leaving some differences, not trying to cover everything, right? Leaving this very dark. That section underneath where we've left it dark has to be dark, that's the shadow. Look at this, right? All this beautiful bit of wave. Give me a little bit more, actually we'll do that afterwards. We'll take the, take our dry one inch brush, just ever so lightly and not everywhere. You don't have to do it over the whole thing. And if you can get it with the, just a couple hairs to get in here, that makes it look really neat. Like the water is just gonna crash down. We need to uh, go back and do something about that. It's almost like the water is flapping down so hard that it can't even keep up with itself. It's really cool. Very, very cool. Come down in here with the rest of that. Now Now we can have a little bit more of that wetness, right? Some of that wet water. Get our thing, kind of all these little different little splashies. Just by kind of rotating our brush and tapping and whatever stays on there stays on. You get this cool little bit of water. And you can go back and add a few more and add a little detail here and a little detail there. Whatever you think needs to be there is what needs to be there. Let's see if we can't... Get this guy, there we go. Just to go underneath. With a bit of our foam. Again, just making it, just mixing it up a bit, just so it changes that little bit of color, a little bit of shadow. Looks like it's just coming, ah, oh, it's so good. I love it. I love it. All right, we're gonna need a, a different fan brush now too, because we need to really go back in and see if we can't add a bit of brightness back into that eye back in here. Just shape that darkness back, right? That's all we need to do. Shape the darkness back. We'll go back in very lightly, very lightly. Grab our beautiful bit of eye back in there. Now it looks more like the water is kind of rotating over it. Remember, keep this area dark. That's our shadow. Can't get down into there. Don't want to make our wave all the same color either. So make sure our our brightness is the same. Boom, there we go. Fire! <laughs> Fire! All right, now we got our little bit there. Not really sure that I like this little bit of splash. There we go, that's better. Not so stand outy. <laughs> All right, let's think. What are we gonna go back and do? Why don't we do our water line down here? We'll get our beautiful little colors in our beach. So we'll come back from wherever our water is and drop, gonna go to the side, All right? Now we're gonna start to decide where, what's happening with the foam on top of our water, right? Where's it gonna live? Damn, that's pretty much it. That's all the amount of, of canvas that we have left, All right? So let's add in a little bit, little different white areas in here and then watch what happens. Watch what happens when we do this. I'm going to pull it down very lightly, stretching it down very lightly, right? Just like that. We're going to slide it back into the wave with a little bit of force, a little bit of pressure. And that way we deposit and stretch some of that wet water. And we leave a little bit of color and a little bit of darkness, right? Don't want to have it all be the same. That's Josh's motto. Differences in color. what color? That's right, guys. Is mommy still watching? Um, we I love you, Mommy. Let's see. Roberta said no London today. No, London, uh, we talked about it in the beginning of the show. London is had a, a mild thing and uh, went to, you know, urgent care or whatever, and they found some little small thing that they're like, oh, well, if we don't send you, then, you know, I, I wouldn't feel right. And so she's just getting checked out. But she's not here, and she's not happy about it. Let me tell you that. She is not happy about it. We're gonna scrape our little bit of our color just kind of up into the wave as it's turning and rotating. Look at that. Just with the bit of the knife, we create that little bit of foam. Fantastic. 
all these little different colors, just kind of mushing it in, just letting it become whatever it is. That's all we really need. It's going to come, it's going to become whatever it is. There we go. Let it float itself up the wave, right? Just like we do on a mountain. We let it float itself up, kind of dragging it. A bit of foam. Man, just like that. We start to create all these little things, guys. A little bit of liquid white is all we really need in our life. All these little bits of snow, right? That's what it basically is. It's like snow. Snow on the mountainside. Oh, Bailey. Yeah. Again, we want to keep that dark area dark, but if you can get some of those to kind of travel up your wave, that's going to look really cool. It's going to look like paint with Josh's. There we go. Just like we do with the, with the mountain. I mean, this is the first time we're doing it like this, really. A bit of foam way up there in the wave. Climbing up, it's about to rotate and turn over, right? This is looking so cool, I don't want to stop. There we go, little bits of foamy wave. It's getting sucked up. Trying to get any of it to carry up on inside there. And then we're going to add in our little bits of... Uh, little bits of like wave eye bits, you know what I mean? And sometimes it helps by pulling from underneath and then coming up and that way you can kind of travel with the with the eye with the, the flow of the water like that and have it become just this beautiful thing <whistles> look at all the hidden details in there it's that so is pretty. so pretty Bailey now let's throw a big tree in there for mom. No, she hates big trees. Don't do that. There. Oh, man. Man alive. Have you ever heard that saying, babe? No. Man alive. Does it mean that Paint with Josh is live? Uh, it could mean that, but I don't think it means that. There we go. Anytime you want to soften up your little bit, you go back in there, pull it down. And then come back in and really just shape up the last little section of kind of real rounded bit of water that we need. That looks great. Okay, now we need to come in, add up a little bit more of that liquid white. And maybe there was a whole nother section that started to come off and kind of deposit itself back there. Let's grab that little liquid, that white brush that we had, and just very lightly kind of suck some of that foam back towards the other foam, right? It's really it, just like it's leaving a, leaving a little layer out there as it sucks itself back. And sometimes if you can get the smallest little bit of darkness or straight black to go underneath, it really raises the level of your foam like it's sat, you know, it's an inch tall and it's sat up on the, you know, sitting on itself, kind of sucking itself back in. Really makes it look cool. Different little lines, different little, just little things can change your whole painting, you know, into something different. Maybe that's a, maybe that's a little section of a rock or something and then a little bit of white line right over the top of it and give you the indication that it's a little different right there, right? It's not all the same. It's never the same, Bailey. No. There you go. Bam. All you got to do, just work at it, play with it, till you like the way that it looks. And then it becomes not my painting, but your painting, right? Fantastic. I love this little bit of, like, foam. Whatever it is. There needs to be a bit more darkness underneath the wave here, though, as we're getting pulled back in. Alice, and maybe here. Allison said, whoa, love the foamy, scrapey bits. Thank you. 
Yeah, you know, paint with Josh, always painting something new. Teaching you guys a new technique that I just found out, not, not keeping it for myself like I should. Let's see. I'm trying to help everybody out. There we go. Pull that foam back. Try to just have someone try to get that detail. If they were gonna like, uh, uh, you know, counterfeit my painting, try to do a counterfeit version and sell it as a paint with Josh. Be like, uh, I saw the thousand little bits of foam that Josh got, and this person did not get that. So, yeah, just like a mountain, though. Very cool. You just gotta fix that little bit of. Purple. Oh, right there, a little section of darkness, and then far away back in the, the distance, a little bit down there, and then we can just scrape it until we like the way that it looks, right? You don't have to just put it there and live with it forever. You can scrape it, you can mess around, you can do whatever you want. Just a little bit of darkness, a little bit of color, a little bit of something somewhere, and that is fantastic. And you can swipe them back a little bit. It's all up to you. What do you want it to look like, right? How do you want yours to look? Now, I kind of really like the way mine looks right there. Well, I really do, Bailey. Well, I really like the way that one looks. If we can just get the smallest little bit of kind of sideways pull back to that next section. Right? Again, doesn't have to be the same. Want it to be very, very light so we can't even really tell. And then just make it soft. Right. Bam. Now we got our water rolling in. Look at this sucker. I love it. It looks like an eye, it looks like a literal eyeball with veins in there. And that is so cool. Do you see those red veins, B? Yeah. They're like crimson veins. Those are so cool. They are so cool. Woo! I don't want to do too many things to it. Right? If we do too many things, then what's it going to look like? And when you do one too many things, you can't go backwards, right? Can't be going back. When Josh gets silent, that's when he's like, oh, goodness. Am I doing the right thing? Oh, no. Should I keep going or should I stop? That looks lovely right there. Fan freaking tastic, as Josh likes to say, Bailey. Okay. All right, let's uh, let's clean up. This one will be available on Etsy, guys. So if you want to purchase the original, I'll probably make prints of it as well because it came out so fantastic. I just love it. I just love it. It needs to be the smallest bit more bright in there though. There we go. And if we could just dump just a couple little, ooh, yeah, little prior bits of water that haven't really crashed down yet. What is that? That fell off the brush right there. Oh no, Bailey. A little droplet fell off my brush. Look at that. We just turned it into a piece of foam resting on top of the water. Bam. Just like that. Scrape it out. Scrape it out of there, Josh. Scrape it out of there. All right. Let's put the family in. Uh, let's put the family in just off the horizon on the sunroys, like Jonathan uh, Everly likes to say. Sunroys. Mom said, hey, guys, I'm good. Thanks for caring. Mommy, we don't even want to be here. We want to be where you are. We really wish we could be there with you. I was telling everyone about the the stupid rule, like you gotta be, you know, you have to be 18 in order to go back. So if you have a child that's under 18, they can't get back into the, to go visit their parent or grandparent or what, you know, whatever it was. It's just ridiculous. So I was telling everybody about that, babe, and we were so bummed. Like the look on Bailey's face, she couldn't come inside. She was like, what the heck? I'm like, it's just the rules, like they don't want to get anybody else sick and, you know, even though we're not sick, they got to take all the precautions that they got to take. But we want to be there with you, Mommy. We love you. Everybody loves you. And uh, 
We're going to call you as soon as we get done here. Mom said it's okay. I'm going to get released today. Oh, really? Yeah. Sweet. Then we'll be down there to pick you up. Pick Mom, you up. Mom said um, I'm bummed, LOL. Mom's bummed too. See, mom like mom enjoys hanging out and she likes talking to people. Mom almost made me fall out of my chair. Sometimes you guys are a bit too much for me, but London loves talking to people. <laughs> okay, let's sign it before everybody leaves us, Bailey. Mom okay. said I'd love you guys too. No, oh, we love you most, mommy. We wish we were there with you. I I've, I've barely been able to focus today on trying to think ahead and think of you and you know, so, but we did it. We, we managed and we can, we were going to, I can't wait to come back and pick you up if you're getting out today. I think she must have thrown such a huff at those people, Bailey, that they were like, all right, that's it. Let her out. We can't take it anymore. When I walked back, they were like, oh, your, your daughter can't wait. So I was like, ah, oh, just wait, Bailey. I'll go say hi to mom at least. And then we'll get out of here. And, uh, and, um, I walked back and London's like yelling at, the nurse behind the, you know how there's like, a, at every every um, hospital hallway, there's like a desk in the middle. London is just like, what do you mean my daughter can't come back here? Like, it was, it was, I love her. I just love her ferocity and so much. There was like a young kid in there. Oh, Bailey, has my tag been out in my shirt this whole time? You didn't even tell me. Oh, sorry. Oh, you're horrible. Now I'm just, that's all I'm gonna be able to focus on when I look back and watch this. <laughs> it's my horrible tag in my shirt. Okay, let's uh, say goodbye to everybody, and then we'll um, we'll go call mom and see what the deets are. I really like this one though, with the green and the yellow and the crimson and the orange and the purple. See, <laughs> we didn't try to cover up too much though. That's the key. What Don't... was that? That was a. <laughs> hey, boo boo. It was uh, a my Yogi Bear impression. Thank you, Bailey, for embarrassing me in front of everyone. Don't embarrass me. There we go. Okay. If we just keep standing here, we're going to just keep playing with it. And then we're going to put a big tree in front of it. And then London's not going to like it anymore, right? I had planned on putting like a palm tree off to the side. But, and again, over here really doesn't very much matter. No one's going to be looking over here. This thing, though, it's like too, too much. Just kind of blend it out, even with my micro liner, just so we have a little bit of color over there, right? It's just a bit too much. Now we need to go back in. Smallest little bit of our our um, foam and throw it in back there just to cover up that little mistake, right? That's all it is. Just a little mistake. All right, what are we doing, Jashy Poo? Oh, can we show mom um, the picture that I did? Yeah, absolutely. Mom, you want to see the picture Bailey did? Like of course she does. Okay, guys, I, I need your support in the uh, in the old Etsy store, right? I, I don't want to beg or anything, but we're running out of supplies. And uh, without supplies and brushes and a new easel and different things, it's going to be very hard to bring you free videos. Um, I'm just not going to be able to do them. And if I can't paint, oh my goodness, that's not going to be a good week or day or however long. I'm even thinking about taking the... Uh, taking the, the easel and everything to, to when we go on vacation and bringing it with us. So, um, you know, I need some new canvases. I need some new things, right? So if you guys like the videos and you want to keep continuing to see the videos uh, for free, then you got to support the store for us and help us out, right? So you can go to paintwithjosh.etsy.com or etsy.com slash shop slash paintwithjosh, wherever you have to go in order to uh, help support the store and you know support us we we really need it so i usually don't beg but you know, we've got shirts we've got the rainbow flag the brand new pride flag video coming out that's already a puzzle uh canvas print even metal prints we're, we're getting uh, new metal prints made now so we can have uh we can start offering metal prints and they hang about a half inch off the wall. They're very thin. They've got a little backing to them. They're very cool. You can, uh, you can go check them out on my, my website, paintwithjosh.com and they'll be there. They even show you a little video on uh, how they work and how they get it to look how it's supposed to be. It's very cool. So, uh, besides that, you guys take care, right? As we just sit and mess around with this thing, just even more, uh, this painting will be available for sale in the Etsy shop, uh, a little while after we get done. 
I'm going to try to do everything uh, today, but we, you know, it's, it is what it is. So uh, go to penguinjosh.etsy.com. You can buy this one. I'll have prints and all the posters and all the stuff, same as we always do. And, uh, yeah, I want to thank you guys for tuning in, for checking out Sunday Seascapes. I think this is the last, this is the final episode of Sunday Seascapes Season 2. So thank you for joining. Thank you for tuning in and, and hanging out with us and seeing what we get into around here, I guess, right? It almost seems like this, this bit has to touch. There's no, it doesn't make sense. There we go. This needs to be a little bit higher. So now we can at least see that it's crashing down onto something. There we go, nice and soft. Bam, there we go. Very cool. Very cool, baby. A little bit of water down onto the ground. Splash! Splash. Splash. Mom only has 8% on her phone. Oh, Mom, go charge your phone. Charge your phone. Mom, let's see if we can get any more of that crimsony up here. Oh yeah, just some straight crimson. I don't want it to be too white. All right? Remember angles, 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 angles. Got to keep that darkness down in there too. All right, we're not gonna mess with it anymore. Let's get done. Clean off these brushes. Mom said that's enough. Leave it alone. That's enough. Thank you, mommy. I know. I I I'd like to go back and. Without mom here telling me to stop, I don't know when to stop. Okay, let's clean this off. So again, go to paintwithjosh.com, go to paintwithjosh.etsy.com, support the store, share the videos, tap, 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 tap if you're watching on Facebook. Make sure you're liking it if you're watching on YouTube. And, uh, you know, the, I, I can't reach everybody by myself, guys. I need your help. So share, send it to your grandma, send it to your neighbor, send it to your best friend. You're like, hey, I like to watch this guy. Maybe you would like to watch this guy. Check this guy out. Go support his store, right? I've seen so many people that have sold their versions of my, my Memorial Day painting, which is perfectly fine. But, you know, send them to my store. Have them get the original, right? You gotta have the original. I mean, I like it. I like that you guys are selling them. But shoot, I need some sales too, guys. You guys are like, oh, Josh is a professional, you, you know, no, not really, I'm just a dude. Just a dude who needs sales as much as the next dude. So, you know, but that's enough of that. This, we lost our, there we go. Lost our bit of water, that's it right there. Okay, done, done, done. Gotta clean up the palette real quick. So remember, go to uh, paymentjoss.etsy.com. You can go to youtube.com on Thursday, the brand, uh, sorry, Wednesday, the brand new Pride Flag Seascape that you see behind me right here. That one's gonna be available on Wednesday. as a brand new zoomed in, uh, in and out, just like Bob Ross's old show, uh, in and out on details. Every time we go in and, and touch and show you, you know, why we show you what to do. And the camera zooms in and does all that. It's just not bright. I know, Bailey. I'm I'm sorry, it's but it's fine. just this bit. Just it's just not bright enough, and the painting is gonna dry duller than its original brightness. So, if you want it bright, you gotta add some of that brightness back in there. There we go. Now it's a bit brighter, a bit more noticeable. Don't want to take away from the front though. The front of the wave is the focal point, right? All right, that is it, guys. Bailey's going to get ready to hit the buttons. We want to thank you for tuning in. Thank you for hanging out with us. Thank you for the likes and the loves and the taps and the shares and the everything. Without you guys, there is no me. We wouldn't be up here. We wouldn't be doing this. And uh, teaching you how to paint wouldn't even be a thing that had entered my mind, right? So it's uh, I love you for it. We love hanging out. We love creating and bringing you videos and showing you cool techniques and different things. So... In return, we ask you to support the store, uh, paintwithjosh.etsy.com. You can get shirts, you can get hats, you can get all different kinds of stuff, prints, metal prints, canvas prints, poster prints, t-shirts, clothing, swimsuits, bathing suits, bikinis, pillows, mouse pads for your office, all sorts of stuff, all different price range, right? Try to have something for everybody. So uh, until we see you guys next time, I'm gonna do the, the normal sign off. 
You guys take care. Have the rest of a good day. And bye-bye. Oh, get him out of here, baby.